Home price reductions. It's a good thing for home buyers, but does it mean that home values are dropping? Hey, it's Craig back with another Mortgage Minute. And um, I wanted to share something with you because I've gotten some questions here recently about, hey, I'm seeing uh, some listing prices dropping. So does that mean that the market is softening? Does that mean that uh, home prices are going in the negative? And listen, the quick answer is no. But let me show you uh, why I say that, because uh, it really has to do more with how the home market has historically performed. So um, I'm going to share a chart with you. This is from Alto's Research and uh, actually uh, got this from uh, Barry Habib at MBS Highway. Uh, phenomenal, uh, phenomenal resource to keep up with what's going on in the market. But uh, this is a chart from Alto's Research. And, and here's, I think, what uh, kind of raised some eyebrows. If you look here, this shows uh, the percentage of properties with recent price reductions, and it's broken out by 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, and 2018. So if you look at 2023, that's this darker line here, it'll show you that as we go into September, you'll notice that that line is trending up, okay? And so uh, where, this, uh, where this chart was created, um, it was at 35.5%. Now listen, Obviously, that sounds like a big number when you hear, oh my gosh, you know, 35.5% of homes had a recent price reduction. However, if you look historically, that's really actually not overly high if you compare it over the past few years. And listen, some of these years that we're, we're looking at here had 19% uh, home appreciation. So, um, for example, 2021 uh, average home appreciation uh, nationwide was about 19 percent. And uh, you can see that in even in 2021, uh, there was an increase as the year progressed in uh, recent price reductions. As a matter of fact, pretty much every one of these years that's referenced here, as we get into the uh, latter part of the year, you see more price reductions. Well, it's for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, home buying season, as we know, is typically in the spring and summer. Everybody's trying to get in before school. So once school starts, historically speaking, that's when it's been a slower time for, uh, for purchase activity. Um, but if you look at 2019, in 2019, um, you had uh, uh, roughly the same uh, percentage of homes that uh, that showed price reductions, but we all know what happened in 2020 um, with the real estate market. And so uh, bottom line is this, there's not enough buyers for the supply that is uh, being sold right now. And, um, you know, there's really not a, uh, there's, there's really not anything that's going to create that supply to change anytime soon. As a matter of fact, You've heard me say this before, you've heard other people say this, but the reason we say buy now is um, the number of buyers out looking at homes is going to increase dramatically if rates come down. OK, now my belief is interest rates will come down. My belief is the Fed will get inflation under control um, and you will see lower rates probably into 2024. And I believe there's going to be a boatload of buyers going to be out looking at homes. And here's the thing. We can't just immediately change the supply issue. Okay. So if we increase the number of buyers, that's putting even more pressure on home values. So no, I do not think that the current level of price reductions is an indication that uh, home values are going in the negative. I think it's an indication that the housing market is behaving historically speaking, like the housing market behaves this time of year. So listen, I'd love your feedback. Uh, give me a call 615-498-5626. And I appreciate you watching.